uh, people doing zero grazing, this is one of the things that are really limiting you or that is disturbing you. Remember, I always explain to you that uh, when you're doing zero grazing, your animals can attain more weight than even any other animal that is doing free range. But you know, I told you about uh, uh, feeding of these animals. The feeding of the animal is a core point, and the hygiene is also another core point. Let me show you one thing, you people. This is a goat's house, eh? but I want you to look at this. I want you to look at this. This is what is happening in the goat's house. Uh, I want you to um, again show them. After sweeping, after sweeping, people are putting up this in the goat's house. Um, look around the general uh, cleanliness or hygiene. You also come with a camera here and show these guys. I want you to see. This is a raised house and uh, it was well done. The dung and urine always go down. I want you to look underneath. You know, how do you expect? How do you expect an animal to be healthy out of this? Leave alone the nutrition, but as well look at the hygiene. Animals cannot survive in that kind of condition. I want you to see uh, these animals. They have a rough hair coat. This is even itching itself. Look at the bones. The pelvic bones are on top of everything. This farmer is telling me is feeding these animals on silage. We know um, uh, maize silage is a perfect meal for all these animals. But not all animals that understand how to eat silage. What do you do? I always tell you that if you want to teach your animals how to eat silage, this is what they're supposed to do. Put molas in the trough so that all the animals can enjoy and start licking on this. The moment they understand this, they will definitely have no objection on whatever you use that feed for. So whichever feed you give them when it has this smell, definitely they can eat it. Now what is really disturbing us here? One, the nutrition. I want you to look at the animals that uh, we are saying that they are on zero grazing. An animal on zero grazing cannot look like that. What is happening? Because they don't have enough feeds. If they get enough feeds, they are not nutrition. The nutrition is really very, very low. Look at, I always tell you that if, show them this, if an animal is feeding on the feeds that are less nutritious, they are going to show it to you on the rough hair coat. The coat is going to be rough. It's either worms or poor nutrition. Look at that male, how it looks. It's even itching. Itching that is meant, and you know these animals are fond of getting uh, uh, the bottle jaw. Most of the time, what causes the bottle jaw is the worms, worms called the humongous. They always get that bottle jaw. What do you do with that? The solution to this farmer, one, is supposed to improve on the nutrition. It's supposed to make sure that these animals eat and get full. The stomachs get full. How do they know? Uh, how do they adjust from the free range to the zero grazing? One, they are supposed to be taught how to eat molas. Molas, those are carbohydrates. Excess carbohydrates in the body are turned into fat. But these animals, they don't have any fat. If you look at them, they only have very small muscles. Why? Because they don't get enough carbohydrates. So if they learn how to eat the, um, the, the molas, it is going to help them at least have enough energy and convert into the fat. And then an animal will put on the weight. And then you give them feeds which even has a protein and it can really help them to build up the muscles. So maize is a good silage. Uh, maize silage is one of the best because it has all the nutrients. But now these animals don't even feed on it. They're just learning it. What a farmer would do, one, he would teach them how to eat the feed. First of all, how? By teaching them how to eat molars. The moment they understand the sweetness, the best of the molars, they can put it on any kind of feed. You get it? And these animals will feed on it because they know how, uh, how uh, molars is tasty. You get it? So what should this farmer do? He's supposed to give the molars in all the area, put it in all the traps. If they learn just within a week or two weeks, how to eat it, then they should apply it on the feed. Even if they dropped in molars when they were, make, when they were making silage, they should as well put on 
uh, as well put on another molars when they are feeding these animals. Water should readily be available, the molars should be on, the feed should be inadequate. You get it? Sorry, it's supposed to be adequate. It should be enough. You get it? So, this is what is happening. The moment you don't feed your animals well, this is what you're going to see. So what this farmer is supposed to do, he should improve on the hygiene, first of all. He should uh, deworm, redeworm these animals using Bimectin Plus or Ivermectin Plus or that I Plus. It's a very good uh, drug for this kind of situation. He's supposed to provide them with mineral blocks. The whole of this flock, we only have one mineral block. You see this? What do you expect animals to have the, 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 the minerals? You get it? He's only having this Casmo one and even the other one. Just like two, we would have over ten around here. Whichever animal that wants could take it on. You get it? So, should provide the mineral blocks. It should provide multivitamin to increase the metabolism of these animals such that they have appetite all the time to eat. The moment you provide feeds for this kind of animal,